Breaking news from Starbase. This week marks a pivotal moment in Starship's journey as SpaceX achieves multiple groundbreaking milestones. Both Booster 15 and Ship 34 have completed their critical static fire tests. But there's something even more extraordinary happening behind the scenes. Hidden in plain sight of the launch facility, SpaceX engineers are conducting a series of unique tests that could revolutionize how we land the world's largest rocket. For the first time ever, they're gathering crucial data for what could be the most daring maneuver yet. Catching a massive Starship booster in midair. The stakes couldn't be higher. With Flight 8 on the horizon, every test, every modification, and every data point counts. Today, we're taking you inside these remarkable developments from the thunderous roar of 33 Raptor engines firing in unison to the intricate dance of the launch tower's mechanical arms preparing for their most challenging task yet. From the mysterious liquid oxygen dump tests to the unprecedented 57-second ship static fire, this week has revealed fascinating insights into SpaceX's ambitious plans. Whether you're a space enthusiast or just curious about the future of spaceflight, you won't want to miss what we've uncovered. I'm your host from the Elon Musk 24-hour channel, and today we're breaking down all these exciting developments. Let's dive right in. Wait. Dawn breaks over Starbase, painting the Texas sky in hues of orange and purple. For the SpaceX team gathering at the launch site, this isn't just another day of testing, it's a moment years in the making. As Super Heavy Booster 15 emerges from the production facility, its massive frame gleaming in the morning light, you can feel the anticipation in the air. Each person here knows that what happens in the next few hours could reshape the future of space travel. The journey to this moment has been marked by both triumph and heartbreak. Seven previous flights have taught precious lessons, each success and setback etched into the collective memory of the team. As the launch mount's arms carefully embrace the booster, veterans of the program remember the early days when catching a rocket seemed like an impossible dream. Now they're on the cusp of making it reality. In the control room, screens flicker to life as engineers run through their pretest checklists. The atmosphere is focused, intense. These men and women have spent countless hours preparing for this moment, many missing birthdays, anniversaries, and family gatherings in pursuit of this goal. As the countdown begins, you can hear a pin drop. Every person holds their breath, knowing that in moments the raw power of 33 Raptor engines will be unleashed. The ignition sequence begins. One by one, the Raptors roar to life, their combined thrust creating a symphony of controlled chaos. The ground trembles, and for 10 incredible seconds, the full might of human engineering is on display. The launch mount, a testament to precision manufacturing, holds firm against forces that could tear lesser structures apart. In the control room, Dozens of screens display real-time data, each number and graph telling part of a larger story. But what comes next surprises everyone. Instead of powering down completely, the team initiates something unprecedented, a series of 39 separate liquid oxygen dumps. Each release creates a ethereal cloud that dances in the morning light, a beautiful but purposeful display. For the engineers watching, these aren't just pretty effects. They represent critical data points in understanding how their creation behaves in real-world conditions. The tension rises again as the launch tower arms lift the booster skyward. This isn't just a routine movement. It's a carefully choreographed simulation of what could be the most daring maneuver in spaceflight history. Years of work, countless simulations, and endless refinements have led to this moment. The arms upgraded after learning hard lessons from Flight 7 cradle the massive rocket with a precision that seems to defy physics. Meanwhile, across the facility, Ship 34 waits for its own moment in the spotlight. The spacecraft represents countless innovations, each born from the hard-won experience of previous flights. As Monday dawns, it makes its journey to the test site, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of everyone involved in the program. Tuesday evening brings a test unlike any before it. The six Raptor engines of Ship 34 ignite, and instead of the usual brief burn, they continue firing. 10 seconds pass, 20, 30. The team watches intently as the seconds tick by, eventually reaching an unprecedented 57 seconds. This extended burn isn't just a display of raw power. 
It's a thorough examination of every modification, every improvement made after Flight 7's dramatic conclusion. The enhanced leak detection systems, born from lessons learned in previous tests, monitor every aspect of the burn. Engineers who spent sleepless nights redesigning these systems watched their screens intently, looking for any sign of the issues that had caused previous concerns. The upgraded venting systems, a response to past challenges, faced their first real test under extended burn conditions. As the test concludes, a mysterious pop and flash catches everyone's attention. In the control room, experienced engineers exchange knowing looks. What might alarm others is, to them, part of the complex dance of rocket testing, perhaps a valve closing or residual propellant burning off. It's these moments that remind everyone of the fine line they walk, pushing the boundaries of what's possible while maintaining the highest safety standards. The story shifts to Launchpad B, where another kind of transformation is underway. The construction site buzzes with activity as workers pour foundations and install massive rebar cages. Each person here knows they're building more than just a launch pad. They're creating a gateway to the stars. The flame trench, designed to withstand forces that few structures on Earth ever experience, takes shape day by day. Hence the next leap forward. Deep within the facility, Test Tank 16 reveals its true purpose. What appeared to be a routine test article has become something far more significant. Fitted with structural segments matching the latest Block 2 vehicles, this tank represents the next leap forward in rocket reusability. Connected to a complex web of pistons and cables, it helps engineers understand exactly how a massive rocket booster will react when caught by the launch tower's mechanical arms. A maneuver that, if successful, will revolutionize space launch forever. Inside the assembly bay, Ship 35 comes together piece by piece. Technicians meticulously install each thermal protection tile, knowing that their precision could mean the difference between success and failure during re-entry. Nearby, Booster 16 awaits its turn for cryogenic testing, while in the Mega Bay, the components of Booster 17 are already being stacked. This relentless pace of progress speaks to SpaceX's commitment to rapid iteration and improvement. The implications of these developments reach far beyond Starbase. At NASA, discussions about the future of the Artemis program continue. The recent announcement of potential layoffs in Boeing's SLS program has sent shockwaves through the aerospace community. For many, it represents a turning point in the history of space exploration, a shift from traditional approaches to more innovative commercial solutions. The Artemis II mission, humanity's planned return to deep space, faces its own challenges. The timeline has shifted from September 2024 to April 2026, each delay representing countless hours of additional engineering work and refinement. For the crews training for these missions, the wait is both frustrating and necessary. They understand that in spaceflight, patience often means the difference between success and failure. As the sun sets over Starbase, the work continues. Engineers review data from the day's tests Technicians prepare for tomorrow's challenges, and planners map out the next steps toward Flight 8. The path to making humanity a multiplanetary species is neither straight nor easy, but the dedication of these teams, their unwavering commitment to the goal, drives progress forward day by day. The next few weeks will be crucial. As both Booster 15 and Ship 34 undergo final preparations, the entire space community watches with anticipation the modifications made after Flight 7, the countless hours of testing and refinement all lead to this moment. Will this be the flight that demonstrates full reusability? Will the catch mechanism prove successful? The answers to these questions could reshape our understanding of what's possible in space exploration. For the teams at SpaceX, each sunset brings them one day closer to their ultimate goal. As the stars begin to appear in the Texas sky, they serve as a reminder of why they push so hard why they continue to innovate and improve. Every test, every modification, every small step forward brings humanity closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. As we stand at this pivotal moment in spaceflight history, the question isn't just about the future of NASA's Artemis program or the role of commercial space companies. It's about humanity's next giant leap. The developments we've seen this week at Starbase 
From the groundbreaking static fire tests to the mysterious catch mechanism preparations, all point to a future where space travel becomes more accessible, more sustainable, and more frequent than ever before. The upcoming Flight 8 isn't just another launch, it represents years of innovation, countless hours of engineering brilliance, and the unwavering determination of thousands of dedicated individuals. Whether you're fascinated by the raw power of 33 Raptor engines firing in unison, intrigued by the revolutionary catch mechanism being tested, or excited about humanity's return to deep space, these developments matter to all of us. Your thoughts and perspectives on these developments are invaluable to our community. Should NASA continue with the SLS program, or is it time to fully embrace commercial alternatives like Starship? Share your views in the comments below, and let's keep this important conversation going. If you want to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration and Starship's journey to the stars, hit that subscribe button and join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Don't forget to ring that notification bell to never miss an update. And if you found this video informative, give it a like to help others find it too. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey. Until next time, keep looking up. The future is getting closer every day. Right now, 238,900 miles from Earth, a small robotic explorer named Blue Ghost is silently gliding through the vast emptiness of space, carrying humanity's dreams and aspirations toward our celestial neighbor. This isn't just another mission, it's part of an unprecedented wave of lunar exploration that's making 2025 a landmark year in our journey to the stars. Just over a month ago, on February 8th, this remarkable spacecraft broke free from Earth's gravitational embrace atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Now, as it cruises along its carefully calculated trajectory, Blue Ghost carries something precious. Ten cutting-edge NASA payloads, each one ready to unlock new secrets about our mysterious satellite. Before setting its course for the moon, Blue Ghost turned its cameras homeward one last time, capturing a breathtaking view of Earth with Australia visible below like a rust-colored jewel set against the deep blue of the Pacific Ocean. It was more than just a photo. It was a farewell to home as this intrepid explorer embarked on its journey to push the boundaries of human knowledge. But Blue Ghost isn't traveling alone. It's part of a broader collaboration between SpaceX and NASA that's revolutionizing our approach to lunar exploration. Together, they're not just sending machines to the moon, they're paving the way for humanity's return to our closest celestial neighbor, writing the opening chapters of our species' next great adventure. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration.